Showing they've got plenty of power, not just those silky skulls. Brilliant from Bono Bono, the offloading is magnificent. Hello and welcome to our channel, Triline. In today's video, we will be talking about the match between Wales vs Fiji in the Autumn Nation Series competition. We will also be discussing some of the players that were astounding in the game. Before we do that, let's just make sure you've liked this video, hit that post notifications button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We strive to bring you the content we know you love. So let's dive into our topic for today. An early red card cost Fiji the game as Wales were able to pull away in the second half to claim victory. Hironi Sao was sent off for a dangerous tackle. Fiji started strong, scoring early and dominating in the early stages of the match. Hironi Sao was given a red card for a forearm to the head of Johnny Williams in the 25th minute. Wales struggled to take control of the match until the final 15. For a moment, Fiji had us wondering and thinking there was more and some magic. Hironi Sao's red card after 25 minutes wasn't the killer blow to this test that many expected. Instead, the visitors pushed Wales to the limit, just as they did at the Rugby World Cup two years ago in Oita. In the end, late tries from Alex Cuthbert, Louis Reed Zamet, and Liam Williams bailed Wales out after a fairly indifferent performance. Considering the adversity facing Fiji heading into the season, shorn of some of the best players, including Semi Radrada and Levani Botia, not to mention their head coach in Vern Cotter, this was a remarkable effort down to 14 men for so long. Sao had to go, red carded after making direct contact with the head of Jolly Williams with a swinging forearm following a tackle. The surprise was how long it took for that outcome to be reached. TMO Stuart Tahig insisted that referee Nick Berry reconsider his initial assessment of a yellow card. We just hoped Sao's red card would not ruin what up until that point had been a promising contest. Thankfully, it didn't. Samuel Matavesi's breakdown work was excellent while trying to tackle powerhouse Joshua Tuisova is an unenviable task for any defender. One bulldozing Tuisova run practically folded the Wales captain Ellis Jenkins in half. What did Wales get out of this? Hard to say really. There were some lowlights, including Kieran Hardy fizzing a pass presumably meant for Rhys Samet into the front rows of the West Stand. Their attack overall this series remains a bit lifeless, admittedly hindered in their match against South Africa by the miserable weather, but there were no excuses here on a sun-kissed afternoon. Wales initially relied on their set-piece and short-range carries, rather than anything overly thrilling out wide. A deliberate tactic according to Pivac to suck some petrol out of the Fiji tank, which almost jars with the coach's attacking ethos. Cuthbert's well-taken finish in the corner in the second half proved a welcome exception, as Wales ran against the tiring Fiji defence. Fiji made a strong start in Cardiff. You sensed the set piece could always bail Wales out if they found themselves in any trouble, with Ryan Elias dotting down off a mall to put Wales on the board. A second Volavola penalty extended Fiji's lead, until Sauer's red card changed the narrative. Albert Tuisu soon followed, yellow carded for killing the ball with Fiji backed up under their own posts. Wales accepted the invitation to exploit a two-man advantage. Hardy scampering over to score and put Wales ahead. Rhys Samet must have thought he had a sixth test try right on half time, chasing onto Dan Bigger's crossfield kick, but it was correctly chalked off after Rhys Samet previously landed out of play after slapping a kick to touch back in field, leaving Wales ahead 14 13 at half time. Elias and the Wales Mall struck again to narrow the gap to 19 23 before Wales's attacking game belatedly came to life producing their best passage of play after Dylan Lewis mopped up a stolen lineout. A brilliant quick pass from Jenkins created the overlap, the ball going through seven pairs of hands before Williams put Cuthbert in at the corner. Sheedy's conversion curled wide, giving Wales a slim 24-23 lead. No need to worry, said Rhys Samet. Kicking ahead from the halfway line, the Wales wing showed astonishing pace to catch up to his own kick before it rolled dead, grounding the ball with inches to spare. A sensational finish from a sensational talent, followed by Nick Tompkins breaking through to set up Liam Williams, capping a late, entertaining flurry which glossed over Wales's deficiencies. Fiji were the better side for most of this match. Frankly, the early red card and then the two yellows cost them. They had a great chance to win, but Wales did what they had to do in the second half, making use of the extra man. Players that performed well. 
Ryan Elias. Ryan Elias was born on the 7th of January 1995. He is a Welsh rugby union player who plays for the Scarlets at Hooker. He is a former Wales under 20 international. Elias made his debut in 2014, having previously played for the Scarlets Academy. For his international career, in May 2017, he was named in the Wales senior squad for the tests against Tonga and Samoa in June. Samuel Matavesi Samuel Matavesi was born on the 13th of January 1992. He is a Fijian rugby union player who plays for the Northampton Saints in the RFU Premiership competition, but also had a short stint with the top 14 side, Toulouse. His position of choice is hooker even though he has played at blindside flanker and number 8 for Plymouth. Sam is the younger brother of Josh Matavesi. His father, Sireli Matavesi, came to England in the 1980s from Fiji and never left. He played for Cornwall, a team his three sons also played for. Sam also works for the Royal Navy, working out of the RNAS Culdros as well as playing for their rugby union team. He made his debut for the Flying Fijians against Canada in the 2013 IRB Pacific Nations Cup off the bench at number 8. In December 2019, Matavesi joined Northampton Saints in the Premiership Rugby with immediate effect from the 2019-20 season. Alex Cuthbert Alex Cuthbert was born on the 5th of April 1990. He is a Welsh rugby union player, playing on the wing for the Ospreys and the Wales national team. Born in Gloucester, Cuthbert went to Newent Community School. He gained a diploma at Hartbury College before studying at Cardiff Metropolitan University. This match is one of the ones that ended in what might look like an upset, but in truth, the better team simply came out on top. Well that's it for today's video, we hoped you enjoyed it as much as we did, and always let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe.